Hello. Hello. And oh, we have some fun projects today. I'm going to quick show you one. It's all about little punch cards. Is that just fun? So that'll be a fun little technique card. That's coming up. But first, I have announcements. Yes. <laughs> and we've got mail. <laughs> yeah, it says 1.30, which is which today. Mm -hmm. I have this thing with numbers. So see, I do these. On Mondays, we go live at 6.30. She and on Thursdays, things. it's one o'clock. And I forgot to change when I bring up the thing. I changed the six to one. I forgot to change the 30 to zero. So she uh, doesn't have a number problem. She has editing problems. I, I have editing problems. Proofreading. Proofreading. I, I used yes. to be good at no, that. Just keep moving. I think it's because I'm always in a rush. You are. I, I'm so sorry. And then I don't know how to go on and change it without taking everything down. And I, actually, I didn't even know it till a little bit ago when um, Kathy Oz told me. So I went on and... Um, I did you know it's the usual time so thanks guys i'm glad you're here anyway oh my goodness jackie says hi from a viking river cruise over in Whoa, austria oh my oh, goodness oh, oh. i bet you're having a wonderful time that's on my bucket list i would love i just oh, we've never done a river cruise a river you, cruise sounds lovely would you say hi to that guy that owns that from norway the guy that <laughs> talks about <laughs> being a norwegian i want to oh. go on one of his cruises that sounds good Okay, so I have a bunch of announcements. This is the last day of the month. Can you believe it? It's the last day to use this host code. Uh, and you know, but you never, if tomorrow you forget and use the same host code, you have a couple day leeway. So don't ever worry about it. You know, it, it, it just is what it is. But well, we have a new one tomorrow. Um, and I will switch and that should be on the website. But if it's not up yet, when you go order, just use the other one. I go, your gift comes by the date the order was place this is july. i really this is gonna be july so this is what we're gonna be looking for for sentences q is um, really a popular letter oh quick well that's oh, all quick. that's quick. my life oh, quick. Yeah. quick 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 it's true um but to have the first word you guys can fill in the rest no <laughs> quintessential quintessential okay would you spell it please <laughs> q u i n t e s s i <laughs> but, i think i could but anyway just so you know when there's a little leeway at the end of the month it doesn't really matter if you just get one of the host codes in there. I appreciate it. But if your order is 150 or more, you don't use the host code because you get the benefits. And if your order is 150 or more, really, you should buy the starter kit instead. And the bonus for July and August is this amazing planner. Now, I'm not going to go into this right now. It's going to take, it's going to change Karen's life. I'm going to try. As I said the other night, I'm not, not, I'm not a planner girl, but I'm trying to be. So you guys can follow along. I'm trying to organize my oh, life no, look at that. Yeah, look in at this that. lovely notebook. And it is with the starter kit. So it's for demonstrators, but it's, you know, it's personal planning. It's for anybody. I'm going to talk a little bit about that tomorrow. Actually, we're going out of town for the weekend, but I'm going to be here in the morning. So I'm available if you want to call me and I am going to come on live at 10 a.m. Central. And I am going to, um, I'm going to share this, what I'm going to plan to do. I'm going to write in it before I share it. That's my goal. Good. So I've actually made an effort. So Luann, my helper on uh, Tuesdays said, and Karen, if you haven't used it in a month, you know, it's mine because she gets everything I don't use. And I said, watch me. I'm going to really, really make an effort to organize my life. And maybe I won't have the times wrong. You know, maybe it'll actually help me. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are a planner person, you will love this. If you're not like me, you might. Um, decide you want to try to be. So anyway, you can follow along with my apps. We'll see. I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to share some cards from the new catalog and I'll make something. All of that at 10 tomorrow and we'll chat. So, uh, so, oh, Kim, it's your first time live. So good to be here live. And tomorrow, if you've thought at all about the starter kit, just don't place an order till after the live and we've had a chance to um, chat about it. Whatever you want to do is always good with me. You can always call me for an opinion. I just love that it's all good, you know? Uh, and so this is the very last day to get this. This is from the card kit of this month. Really a fun card. And now you get, and the rest of them are going out on um, Monday or Tuesday. I know I've just been a little behind, but if you place an order this month, just know I have your name. Um, and then for next month, so each month, I send out a card kit if you place a minimum $50 order in my online store. Speaking of a little behind, mm -hmm. Karen had surgery <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, sit. and she is doing really well. I can sit again. You know, it's those little things in life that just, you know, just wonderful. Makes you just, it is, it is the little things, you know, because my back, my posture, it's all good. 
uh, what was I looking for? Oh, the card kit for next month. <laughs> it's like, yeah, Kathy's saying the adapter looks so, the uh, planner looks so adaptable, can be used for many different uses besides just appointments. You're right. Mm -hmm. um, I need to put my appointments in though, since I've never figured out Google Calendar. But more than anything, what I want to use it for is I live on post-it notes and they're all over at the house. And I, then I lose them and I can't find them. And I have my notes. And I have my notes all over. If she doesn't have a post-it note, she just takes a piece of paper that's got typing all over it and she I add it. writes in the corner and then she never sees then it. Then I go through my stacks and I'm trying to read all these little notes all over. And so my goal is, and I've had a couple planners, but they haven't like really stood out. I've looked for ones that would kind of fit in a purse. I don't know why, because I don't carry a purse. Um, but this being really bright and noticeable, it, it's going to change my life. I just know it. So we'll see. So my goal is no more paper scraps. So we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> it's all good. Next month, uh, the card kit is going to be, and again, you'll get uh, three cards in the card kit and you get a PDF with ideas for six. So three more ideas, but I'm using one of the free celebration choices and it is the one with the tree dies, it's got trees and campers. Okay, here's a nostalgia card. Doesn't matter if you're a camper so, or not. Is so this nice. adorable? So all the cards I send you in a card kit can be assembled and you would need nothing more than words. But you see, that's a cloud punch. And these are all dies out of that free set. There's a stamp set that also goes with it in the catalog. But is this just cute? And it's a great vintage card. I just absolutely love that. So and everyone's saying they're going to help me with the planners. That's great. I need an accountability group to do that. Yes. But is this me. fun? So this will be one of that the three is cards. the shape of an airstream. Yep. And if you make it silver, it is. Looks and one exactly, of the other cards in the kit is silver for. And then the other exactly one exactly like an airstream. We'll use just the tree dies. So anyway, I'm really excited about that. So that will be starting tomorrow. The card kit. Oh, this is fun. Kathy said that she's going to use her planner in the closet where she does her morning devotions, and she finds mm -hmm. a particular Bible verse that hollers at me. And then she keeps those verses together instead of just jotted to run all over. So see, this is fun. I love that we could use the planner for all kinds of things. I don't plan to use mine just for my business. It's for my life. It's for whatever you want to use. If you have a business, whether it's Stampin' Up! or anything else, you can do that. It could be for keeping track of who needs birthday cards this month. It could be for anything. It could be, you know, your life. I'm planning to put everything in there, Tim. Yes. Everything. 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 My business. Now. Maya. Did she say she uses it in the closet? Yeah, and I'm not going to use it in the closet. I thought that was the equivalent of not using it. She's going <laughs> to put it away, store it in the closet, okay. but never. That would be me. So the All Good Cards Club, you know, this is pretty funny because this looks more like the All Good Cards Club because I have my things all stacked up for the classes. <laughs> Today's is kind of like that. But the next card club is July 15th and 16th. So we meet Friday night, twice on Saturday, and you do not. It is only available free. So let me do a quick public service announcement. If you are a demonstrator right now, today is the last day you can order the planner. What are you pointing We de The planner. Demonstrators could pre-order it this month. So if you're watching and you're a demonstrator, you need to get this today. As of tomorrow, it only comes with the starter kit. It is it's not gone. viable. It is gone. No one can get it. So that's so that's the deal. It's the only and way Karen is not going to sell hers. No. <laughs> She's going to use hers. <laughs> Um, well, today is the today should be the last day, I think, since tomorrow is the new month. So the next All Good Cards Club is July 15th and 16th. And, you know, you don't need to be there because you have access to the videos and PDFs forever. But the topic is, but it's fun to be there because we chat. This is a... Um, they do a, have fun. You know, message me if you need the number. I have it, uh, but I don't remember where it is. And it's not here. And since that's only fits for demonstrators. But anyway, you will love it. So this, what we do at a card club is similar to what we do on Thursdays, but we meet three times and it's like on these Thursdays when we go over in the back porch stampers and you guys show your cards, but it's like that in class. But I pick an overall theme for the weekend. It's kind of like a mini retreat, I like to call it. So I love when you guys say good things about class and we all do variations on a theme. So this one's going to be all pull out fancy folds. So this, I'm just going to show you one of them. Is that just adorable? That is cute. So what... Open, what class? Open it up once. That's okay. So it just opens. Yeah. Okay. But what's fun about it is they're related to a theme, but they're different. So each session, we do a couple of variations of a variation of a theme. As I love taking the idea of you start with something and then you see where you can take it, where else you can go with it in, 
you know, so um, anyway, so that would be very fun. Rhonda says the All Good Cards Club has helped her gain so much confidence. I just love that. And, you know, it's a community. We just get to know each other. It is just so awesome. So I just um, love. It. Yes, Kathy, thank you for sharing the number. Because, yeah, so if you're a demonstrator, Kathy, just share the number on here. Um, and for the rest of you, the way to get it is to buy the starter kit. And, you know, there is no obligation. You can't go wrong. So it's an awesome deal. Um that might be it for, I can't believe it. That might be it for announcements. Wow. We have only, what are the times we, we, we meet at seven central and then 10 and one on Saturday, all central. But like I said, you have access forever. And for the next two weeks specifically, the group stays very active because people make cards and go put on there. You can go back to the group forever and, um, and keep posting things, but just know it doesn't kind of end right there. It kind of runs through the whole time. And I stay on longer and chat. If people want to chat about anything, it's, it's more of a kind of get to know your other. Oh, Re Rebecca, that's so sweet. She says the all good cards club is just the bomb. She loves them. So that's wonderful. Oh, Becky Lynn. The planners, are, the planners are $45, Kathleen, if you're asking. And that's why just think of that it's free with the $99 uh, starter kit. So if you weren't, so we have only two cards this week. It has come to, an end. A dwindle. No, a dwindle. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put a picture on. I, I take a picture of all these cards. We have gotten over 700 cards in mm. the last couple of months. Who that I they're on the floor. Do you see that, Tim? I put them all in baskets as so I can take pictures. It is start, overwhelming. As soon as they start to dwindle, I'm gonna go back into the hospital. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're gonna there. fake something. <laughs> <laughs> That's we love doing cards. <laughs> This one is going to be a pull-up card. We're using one of the same ideas, but all of them didn't. They're all stand-up display cards, too. The reason I changed the name, Connie, so the reason I changed his name is you wouldn't necessarily, necessarily call this. I mean, I think it's a darling display card because you wonder what it, what it is. But I'm trying to make names be distinct enough that we can go back. So what these, they're, they are stand-up display cards, but they all, what they have in common is that there's something that you pull out with the fancy fold. Does that make sense? I'm trying to kind of define um, define what things are a little more. They're evolving. I have a whole list of classes that, that we want to get to. So it's all good. And what I one thing I am learning, I'm really working hard to more limit what we're covering so that we can really explore an idea in depth and share a lot of ideas because sharing is the best. I love to say we are more creative together than we are separately. So um, that that is what we just love about it. And uh, let's share the two cards. So Tim got a belated birthday card from his sister, Mary. And his sister, Mary, is coming in a couple of weeks. So we will bring her on. Mary Titus when she's Burks. here. Because oh, a lot beautiful. of you know her. And I thought, how fun is that? Okay, I love, look at how she's done all this and colored it and then put it through the embossing folder. Yes. And that reminds us of our house because we love to look at the birds. We've got a great bird house. Because we live in a little house <laughs> on a, yeah, tiny on house. a pole. Yeah, that's right. But doesn't it just bird watching? And I thought, oh, and, we do. And when she comes and visits, yeah, we love just watching the birds and seeing them all here. So that is all fun. <gasps> Drawing a winner, Rhonda. Oh, you are right. Um, Let's I go. did draw a winner, and it's out. It's out in the other room. Um, okay. I'll, did I'll did, did I ever tell you that I have trouble with writing notes here and there? Um, is it Tim, in, is it in your planner? Can you? Um, uh, I, I think I know where it is. Can you entertain people for one minute while oh, I go get with, the name? With, I forgot to bring it out. With my, let me see with where my, my sister's card. I sure uh, can. Yeah, you can talk about your sister coming. And of course, we have that great stamp set. And I, oh, a little disorganized here. Ouch. Mary is the oldest child, first daughter, only child, only daughter. And then there's four boys and I'm the oldest boy. So Mary, it's a beautiful card. Thank you very much. And look at this. Dear Tim, you're my favorite brother. No, she, she didn't say that. Okay. Um, okay, just that. Do you want to get stuck in there? Or you I can? do. I do. Um, okay. Here and we I, come. Okay. See, I did have it out there. I just had to go find it. The winner of last week's stamp set, which I need to find, is Sue Sheridan Waltje, or however you say your name. Message me your address, and I'll pop it in the mail. And I just grabbed this from my bucket of... I'll give away samples. <laughs> so, um, this is a little aside, but I had some friends take me out for a belated birthday breakfast. So I just got home a bit ago. So that's why I 
you know, that's my excuse for today. I just need a new excuse every day. But I said I had to be home in order to do this. So this was perfect. So, Tim, this is going to be um, Prince and Princess. Yes. I okay. Like so this, uh, you know, if you are a Disney world or Disneyland lover or Disney lover in general, this just makes me think of all the storybooks. So, so how you, fun is this? Is that a toad and you yep. kiss it? Yep. Kiss hey, it. handsome. Hi, gorgeous. <laughs> You're one of a kind. Welcome to the world. So this will be a fun set. So this is this week's giveaway. Oh, and thank you for telling me that. <laughs> okay. So yes, we're celebrating. And then we have one more card. Okay. We have one more card from Pat Nagy from Missouri, who is one of the best card senders ever. This she is to is. me. Happy thoughts of you. Oh, I love that. Oh, how pretty is that? Oh, I love the stamp set. This is gorgeous. And I love how you Ooh. get a sneak peek there and you open it and you see the whole thing. This fits right into punch ideas for today. That is so cool. And, oh, love it. And she didn't, it's nice how she took a, the bottom part of it and highlighted it. Yeah. I like that. That is so cool. Yeah. Rebecca's saying the princess and the frog is a great movie. So yeah, I think there'd be, I think we all know some people that that would be really fun to make cards for them. Okay. We're going to move into today. Um, is that one of the mi Minion movies? No. <laughs> yes, okay. right. Okay. So let's see where we're going to start here. Trying to be organized. So what I had you bring, here's our first card. What I suggested having today, today we're just talking about the power of a punch. And I'm using my favorite punch as of today, you know, that can always change, the postage stamp punch. And so I suggested you could either bring a postage stamp punch. I'm using that for all of them. You might have a, like a rectangle punch. Otherwise, you could just cut little pieces. They're about an inch and a half by two inches, anything. You could also use a square punch. You know, this is all meant to be adaptable. So today what we're going to do is just look at 10 different ways of using one punch. So I'm excited. And I could have gone on and on. In fact, I had two more ideas and I thought, Night, Karen, you need to... Learn to stop. 10 is a really good number. <laughs> and we can save them for next time. So, okay. And I love this. This is using one punch. It is the focal point. I think nine is even a better number. <laughs> it could be, because then it would be odd. So this is just, and I'm using Snowman Magic, which is so cute. And it comes with, I love this. This is going to be, I'm going to make a whole bunch more cards mm. out of this, but isn't that fun? I'm going to just pan, pan Pass things on to you. Thank you. And then I was looking. I think this could go on another rectangle. This, this could go on anything. But I just wanted the idea of using one punch as the centerpiece of our card. And so I chose to use this from the, um, is this from Season of Chic, I think? Yes, it's from Season of Chic, right there. But just know that this could be anything. I'm just kind of walking through different ways of looking at things. Um, Rebecca said she didn't think she'd use this punch all the, so much, and she uses it all the time. If you don't have this one, you might want to think about it after today's. That's all you put on it? This is it. And see, I put it on different this time. And then I just popped this up with the dimensional. And that's going to hold. Well, because this is going to go over it too, okay. and that'll catch some on the inside yeah. here. So I'm not, nor was I worried about it showing because yeah. this is going to be covered. So I could just plain put that on. And then this will catch enough in between. I don't have to worry about it. But this could be a lace doily. This could be any other of a die cut. And you guys know the weekly challenge is to use any layout. You can come up with your own with this, uh, like a uh, rectangle kind of a punch. And you can just cut out little rectangles. If you don't have a punch, mm. you're still included. I said, I love to do things where we all use what we have. Um, I like that. But I think... What a simple card. And this could be absolutely any stamp. Mm -hmm. So when I was thinking about doing this, I punched out one and then I just went through my stamps and was looking at what would be a good fit. You know, you can punch out your little hole and then go through the catalog and just place it and find a cute little stamp to fit on that. And I thought, how fun is that? But you wouldn't cut the picture out of the catalog and put it on. <laughs> you couldn't color it. <laughs> this is the tray chic. You want to show me that again? I love, no, the season of chic down there. Isn't this awesome? This is from, I love the stamp set. You guys, I have 
so many things I want to have time to work with. But look at all these amazing things in here. The paper with this is great too, but this is this die. Mm -hmm. um, so I just love to mix and match things. And I just think this makes an awesome background. You just do so much with this. Yeah, I've been known to buy a die set with just one die or a stamp set for just one stamp. We all talk about that. <laughs> yeah, and you can cut your own rectangles out of scraps. You're right, Rhonda. That is so easy to do. And if you find you love doing like rectangle cards, you know, this is just a really nice size punch to use. So when you see all these easy cards, it just might be on your list, but otherwise make do with what you have. Or you might have rectangle punches. So we're starting with one punch. So see, we're, I decided to organize it by working our way through different layouts, ideas with one punch. So then I have another one that I absolutely love. This card, I just love. We have a friend that we, well, it's the time that I, you know, my kayaking expedition. This would be a great card to make for Jim. Yes, it would be. It would be. <laughs> wishing you an adventurous birthday. And we could make it wishing you an adventurous um, time together or something. Because, you know, he has lots of adventures in his life. That's all I, all I can say. Including the time that I just about drowned. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, and that snowman could be great for any, it could be great for Christmas. It could be great for any winter thing. I thought, but I just love this. So we're going to do a little coloring here. So I'm just going to show the layout of the card. This is from this stamp set. I love this. This is Adventurous Journey. Wishing you an adventurous, happy. Oh, Journey, Journey. That's what we put on for him because his journey mm -hmm. in life is very adventurous. Mm -hmm. That'd be a fun retirement saying too. But birthday, happy birthday, whatever. And we have all these different little, we've got the little, um, what do you call those lily pad kind of things Yep. and the circles in the water. So a great outdoor theme and a great, um, the name of that background die again was the chic dies. Um, oh, Devon, I'm glad you caught the live. So glad to have you here. So I thought, uh, you know, and it is fun to mix and match things. This is such a cool technique. And again, it is so easy. So this is called spotlighting. So I just re-stamped this on another piece of paper. And then I'm going to just punch out the part that I want to color. Okay. Say, what are okay. you doing? I'm just going to pick and choose. And it could be any part of that. And then I hmm. am going to color this. Let me see. I'll just put it on. I guess this is sticky. Oh, I haven't cleaned this off. It's got dried. But you see how you clean it off? You just rub it off. I got to just rub that off so I can put things over it. But we'll flip it over so I don't finish doing that now. Then I'm going to just color this. So I picked these same colors. So I am using Parakeet Party, which I absolutely love. I'm going to do it the same just to be really quick here. And the thing that's fun about this, you can see I'm spotlighting just the rectangular punch. So I'm not coloring the whole thing. And I think it just makes such an awesome look. So I'm going to do that. We're going to add sun hat here and I just this just um, needed bright happy colors to me so that was just kind of fun I'll put a little um we'll do that and let's see we're gonna do this one this one I'm gonna use the pen end because it's so narrow and then the boat, I did the darker. Oh, I had a lighter blue that I'm missing. So Pooh Party will miss that part. I put the darker blue here, Tahitian Tide, which I love. It's just a fabulous color. And since I'm missing the other one, I guess we won't quite complete that. But you see how that's just colored in. And then I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals. But I want that little bit of water. Now, if I wanted this to extend to the whole card, I would have colored this whole water and everything. So isn't that cool how you can just mm -hmm. highlight one part of it? Tony said she hasn't done this. She loves the spotlight technique and she hasn't done it in a while. And I thought, yeah, so it's fun to be reminded of things. And the punch is an awesome way to do it. And you can see when I put this on, I'm going to just line it up. It's going to be popped up, but I'm just lining it up so it continues the picture. Um. Oh, Rebecca, that is so funny. She said she she kept thinking she didn't have a silicone mat. So she apparently ordered another three times. Now she has four. <laughs> well, I will tell you when I'm using this, if I'm using like the glue technique and doing that, I have two or three lined up because then I can get a whole bunch done at one time before cleaning it off. So 
but I love this card. So that is very cool. Yes, colored pencils would work. Stamp or anything would work. Watercoloring would work. Anything would work. It's just the idea of coloring the one part you're highlighting. But I think that is really a fun card. So next we're going to move to, let's say we want to use two punches. And I think this is really, really fun. So love this stamp set. This is Sunny Splash. <laughs> I love these vintage <laughs> bathing suits. That is so, so cool. So I've already, and then this paper is the host pack where you get tons and tons of paper. It's the only way you can get it, both of these. And what I love about this is kind of the vintagey colors. So doesn't that just work? That just mm -hmm. speaks vintage to me. And so I have one punch that's serving as my background and then one that's going to be the highlight. So I picked the same paper and the kites flying just fit the Hello Sunshine. Mm -hmm. So then I'm going to just put these on. And see, those are all the same colors in a different stripe. So I'm going to put that on. I actually have a meeting after this today. It's one of those kind of days. So I um, will probably not, I don't have to, I won't tie the ribbon and finish this either. We'll cover all the techniques. <laughs> I'll come back on at three o'clock and do all the time. Yeah, Tim will finish that because he likes the fine motor part. That's his favorite. But I love this. Hello, sunshine. And then I just added. So, but it could it could go without the mm -hmm. twine, so it's fine. So that'll be fine. I'll I'll finish it. I'll finish it without the twine on this one, <laughs> and then we'll call it done. <laughs> but I think it needs something. I think the twine adds a lot. Do you? Okay. I do. So then you can add. But but but, but either way, if yeah. you didn't see it, well, see. would you have put the twine underneath there first? Yeah, I would have. Okay. So, um, but I could do card surgery. Yes. And, yeah. and replace it, or I could decide this stands alone. Or get a big needle and yeah. Thread. But, yeah. <laughs> but isn't that a fun idea for using two? Uh -huh. The is. silicon mat in the catalog, would somebody say the page number? That would be great. And it's like a $6 item. It is so worth it. And it's a great little gift for crafters. You know, we can never have too many of those if you ever need just a right. little. Right, right back little, in, A little gift, you know. Uh, so that's covering two. Next, we're going to go to doing three punches. And some of the cards I have just used designer series paper. We're just showing how quick and easy these they can be too. Oh, I could just add a little bow. I'll do something else. I can add a little something there. And this is fun, so I have these all lined up. And on this one, and I put the measurement of this over in the blog, um, and that's posted. So you can go over to the blog, and there will be a project sheet. I don't know if it's quite done yet, so that you know you can download the free project sheets and then keep them separately to come back, so you see all the designs together. Because uh, part of the idea of this is just to inspire you. Oh, I can do those things. What else could I do? And for the weekly challenge, you can just pick one of these. So what's fun about this, this is from the new, is it Wonderful World? Somebody tell me, it's one of the uh, free sets. And you can see for doing this, I just wanted to highlight three flowers. So I cut that and then I'm just using the punch, making sure I get a main flower there. So I have three flowers. And all this is are these three punches. There's nothing backed on them. And then here's my little paper, the measurements on there. I could quickly tell you if I had a thing. But you don't need to know the measurements because you know what? You can have different measurements. Because here's what's cool. I just picked how I wanted it to go. I just started with, because I, I love doing it this way. I just started with a scrap piece of paper and I started lining these up. And then I decided, oh, okay, I like them that evenly spaced. So then I just decided I'm going to cut there. And then I did the bottom. That's how you come up with measurements. So you don't really need to have the measurements. These measurements are always the same because this is that quarter inch. So this is my base card. And so folded, this is five and a half by four and a quarter. This is five and a quarter by four. This is three and three quarters by five. So isn't that, isn't that cool? And then I did put some ribbon there and I just popped that up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll leave that one because that's just really cool to do all that. <laughs> Linda said she didn't know she needed that much until now. So I thought, yeah, this is so simple and yet so elegant. And notice now we're going to move into some other things where I've done backings on these, but 
this is what I love that anything works. The only backing on this is this paper. These are just the punches. How easy is this? And the, I was going to say the colors are actually in a different order. Those are the outside ones are reversed. Yeah. And, and, and you can work, work anything. And you could think of all kinds of other papers to do this with. So that is very cool. And now this next card I just love. So keep in mind, this is done with nothing but the punches. So is this. And I love this card. You see how this one again has just the three punches. Now this piece would be, these are the same size pieces. These are the background pieces. These are, so it is my base card. And then it's my piece that's five and a quarter by four. And then five by three and three quarters. And look how cool this is. And these again have no backing. This is just creating the backdrop on my card for this lovely, lovely die. So yes, punches are time savers, Diane. I like what you said. And they're easy to take along. So, you know, if you're going crafting or on vacation, but I thought again, how simple is this? And I love, this is the sun prints paper. I love how it just gives that little speckled. So it just kind of gives a cool look to the background. And then I just lay them out where I kind of think I want them to be. And then I'll flip them over. So the trick with this is you want to do the top and the bottom first. So I'll put this one on. I'm going to put that about there. And then the bottom. And I'm eyeballing because this isn't anything exacting. And then I'm going to equidistance this in the middle as much as I can. That one's a little off, but it's okay. Now, these could be closer together. They could be anything. And when I'm putting this on, now, if I wanted this nice and flat, I would cut this out with uh, the sticker sheet. I love that it's kind of loose. I, I just, I love this look. So what I usually do is the, the blue dots, and I just squish them. So, and I just put them on the widest places there. So I'm going to put one right there. I'll show you what this is from in just a minute here. I was thinking today to bring out all the different things I pulled things from. <laughs> and I'm going to put one here. Uh, you know, this is going to be a more delicate card. So I'm not even going to put it other places. I could. I, well, I should probably do one more. I'll do one more to keep it down a little more. So I would, I'm going to put this one right here. To see how they're all just squished. Can you cut them in half or squish them? I could. I could. But I'm liking them kind of lifted. And I'm not going to press them totally flat. See, I'm just going to make sure they're hidden behind there. And I'm going to, whoops, see, this one shows. I don't want it to show. So I'm going to stick it in there. And then I am going to carefully lay that down. And then I have this kind of free floating. I just think that is really, really a cool look. Uh, yes, these would be great beginner class ideas, the whole idea of a punch. And I, um, for those of you, know, if you talk about classes and stuff, or just anyone going on vacation, a punch and some paper, look what you can make. This die, which I just love, and I love the shape of it. It's long and skinny like that. It's from the Splendid Thoughts. And you see, it's this one right here. And this is really really a cool set you'll you'll see me do more with this later so that covers that blue velvet oh that goes with that here yes it does look like blue velvet perfect song for that there you go tim and then yes, i just added is. a little gem yep so that is really fun oh i know loretta the thing said 130 because that's because i didn't catch my typing mistake I, it was i fixed it said 6 30 you know for monday I switched the one and forgot the other. So sorry. I'm glad you put it. And I didn't know how to change that on YouTube. I put a notice up on the Facebook. Re replay. And now we're continuing on. I just love this. Okay, here's another one. I love this card. Um, show me again the, the three flowered ones. So I just like to compare and contrast. It's right, it's right here. So I just want to show the difference. Either of these could work on the other. I wanted to point that out first. But you know, on this one, I'm just stepping up cards as we go along. This, the whole background is right there. If you notice this one, I put little rectangles behind there, just mm. a little bit bigger and set them off that way. So it's just a different look. Love these houses. This is from one of the free celebration things. And so is this paper. And this background paper is the backside of this. 
I absolutely love all these houses. And then I just decorated this a little more. I popped those up and then I put that on a stream. I just added more details. But you see, they're basically the same. This just adds the little background. But you can really see how simple this one is when you put this yeah. one next to it. Because yep. this is much more involved. These houses, we could change the colors in the paper here. So you could take this very same card, though, and make it like this. And it would also be lovely. So that's mm -hmm. what I just love about this. Um, yeah, and Rhonda, that's a good point. She says, your things don't need to be in a line either. I didn't even cover that. That was a whole other area I was going to get into. They can go all kinds of different ways. So be creative. You know, it is always, um, but I think this is a gorgeous card. Love the colors. I just love how it's set off. That's very nice. Um, and this is free paper and celebration. This is free. This one is free with a hundred dollar order. It comes with the stamp set. It is all gorgeous. This is a free paper with a $50 order. So these are absolutely stunning. Oh, I, I guess I did. I'll lay this out anyway. I won't do the whole thing, but it'll just show you a little bit. Because you can see the houses. There's all kinds of sizes. I picked houses that fit into the punch the best. And I love this background. So I just did this background. And I just measured these just a teeny bit bigger. So this becomes my background. And I thought I wanted it to have a little bit. Here, we'll, ass we'll assemble this. I forgot that I actually remembered to cut out paper for all of these. I'm going to put this in the middle. Or some are in the middle. It doesn't have to be too much middle. And then I'm going to do these on the ends. And then the ends, I just wanted a little bit. Now, I'm being really careful to line up most carefully at one end. I'm going to line them up at that end. And this end is okay if they're going to be a little off because then I'm just going to trim one end mm. instead of trimming both. So then I'm going to add a little bit up here. How cool is that? And then I'm going to chop that off. I'm going to just pretend I did that instead of bringing that out. And then we're just going to build from here. And then it just becomes the houses popped up like this. Now this one, I have three different houses. I added this one. And so I'm going to put two browns on the outside and I'm kind of just going by color. So I put the two browns because we have the green and this one had the two greens on the out and the brown mm. in the middle. But how cool is that? And it's so, so easy. Um, so anyway, that's really fun. Okay, our next card. <laughs> Thanks you guys for putting up with me. <laughs> You know, um, Stephanie just mentioned um, Christmas tags in general, but I'm also going to say like the tag punch. A lot of these things, you look at the tag punch, they would work for this too. Almost everything we've shown, we could have three tags, they would be taller. But so other punches, other shapes will work too. So you can be creative. It's just this idea that we start with these simple things. So here's the next one. And how cute is this Halloween? Can you, can you see what's different about this one? It's not straight. It's mm -hmm. not straight. So this one does angle. You're right. Yep. And it also, this is not larger. This is the same size, mm. but it's just angled down. Mm. It's offset. So it's just offset because it's just one punch size. And so it only shows at the bottom. But I think, isn't that a fun idea? It is. So these are all just taken like this. And set like that. So it's, and again, any of these ideas could work on any of the cards, but I just think that is a really fun. So for this card, I first stamped and then I'm going to tear this. So I'm going to look here and I'm going to see, okay, I have to have it right around there. So that's where I'm going to tear. And if I didn't tear enough, I can always tear more. So that's going to be my card base. Oh, that's close. It's close. I might want to do it a little bit, a little bit more. Oh, so see, that's just all cool. I love this cute little Halloween set. And then these are just on here offset. Mm -hmm. So that is pretty fun. I think uh, I'll just put together one of these, but I don't think this one needs to be put together. I know I'm a speedy sp stamper, but you know, I don't do all of them. But I think that is really fun. And this is the stamp set. It is so cute. Love this love at first bite. Say boo and scary on. That's my favorite. That's what I used here. <laughs> Trick or treat. You're so sweet. And these dies go with it. Okay. I love this cat. Look at that cat in the night woods. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is really a cute set. 
uh, scary silhouettes. And you can put those little silhouettes in there. Oh, I don't know. I think there's going to be a lot you can do with this. Okay. So that is, yes, this gingham paper. I'm just loving. I've used it on a couple of these cards, I think, if you've noticed. Um, and I'm using it on another card in our upcoming class. So that's really fun. So those are a bunch of ideas using three postage stamp punches. Now we're going to go to using four. And I have two cards here. Because you're going to notice they're the same, but one's going rectangular way and one's going this way. We just change the orientation of the card. So you can always do that. Or is that if totally you're, vertical? Yes, if your punches go a certain way or your paper, paper, then you can go that way. But I just love how these can go either way. And so for this one, and I guess I have both of them, but I'm, I don't think I'll put this one together because I think it's pretty obvious. But for this, this is all paper from the butterfly set. This is the best butterflies and there are gorgeous dyes that go with it. And I picked just kind of the, the back sides that are just kind of bright colors, but a little plainer. So I used these four to create my cards. The butterflies are all cut out from the same paper. So I'm just putting them on the cards that kind of go with the papers. You know, I had this butterfly, so I picked those two punches for that. I had this one, so I picked those two. This one I could pick green or, you know, I'm using any of the colors that go in there. So, but isn't that fun? Uh, and so this is the main part of the card. You're right, Judy. I said, I just love that. The punch is doing all the work. I just think that is so, just so fun. And then I'm going to leave one out here because then I want to show you could take the same four punches. <laughs> and if you notice, this is cute. Oh, this little... This little troll paper, this is all, this is cut out from the paper too. It's a die cut from the paper. I guess I don't have that stamp set out here. It is the cutest little stamp set in paper. How did I forget <laughs> it? Um, so this is my focal point. If you notice on these, this is another punch. And I just put the sentiment on the punch. And I, I spaced these more so you'd see it because it had the punch here. But anything goes. These are close together. And you'll notice one goes that way, the next goes that way. So it's making, and I love how that puts them all close together kind of and mm -hmm. makes a square. Because like here I was going for a rectangle because it's covering the card. Here, this makes me think more of like a little quilt or something. And then my words go down there. I thought, I, I love both of that. So how, how cute is that? And so my, my pieces for that, I was just going to show. I will have some assembly to do afterwards. But, um, but I just love how this goes. So you see on this one, we just put them like this. So this is what it's going to look like without the gnome on top. So you're just, and I think that is a fabulous little look. And then my accent just goes in the middle, popped up. So cute. I love that. Um, Lucy said she shares this bunch with her sister. I love that you share with somebody. And when they get together, they're going to make use all these ideas. So I thought, oh, I just think that is just the cutest card. And then the last one, we're going to make it here yet. And I can't wait to see your ideas. And this is if you want to use a bunch of punches. And now there are tons of ideas of what you could do for a bunch of punches. They could butt up together. They could go all which ways. This makes me think quilts, all kinds of things you can do. Um, so this is just a challenge to think of all kinds of punches. And for here, I'm using the Tea Party paper. And again, when I looked at it, you know, I've got all sides to work with it. But I loved the idea of highlighting the teacup. I really love that one. And I loved, I decided I wanted to use the words on one. So I used the lightest one to put the words. So those are kind of my two focal point. Um, I liked, Ooh, I like that. I like this one too. May, okay. Switch to that color. And then I have all of these planar backgrounds. And that was just how I des I wanted to design my card. And I'm using the orchid oasis, the um, Tahitian tide and the starry night, all the new colors. And, you know, I could put more on here. I could have put them closer together, added more. It's just an idea to get started. So, you know, these are great cards for kids. Uh, yes. And, you know, none of this needs to be on perfect. I think a lot of these cards would be fun. And this too would be fun to do any of these things with kids, the gnome card. So it doesn't matter how all these go on. They can make their own designs in the background. And then you have your accent to put on it. So, um I am thrilled with just sharing you these ideas because now I can't wait to see what you do. But isn't that fun? So there are 10 
quick ideas that I came up with with a punch. And here they are. So now you're going to go over in the back porch stampers and show us what you're going to make. We always have a weekly drawing on Wednesdays over there for just for sharing cards because we just love the participation. And sometimes we have like 100 cards being shown over there. So I absolutely love it. So we'll see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. And let me know if you have any questions about the new catalog, any questions. If you need the catalog, make sure you go to KarenTitus.com and click on free catalogs. Um, and I think that's it for today. Thank you for sharing this time with us. So what comes tomorrow? Or what, tomorrow, what? Uh, tomorrow is the first day you can order from the new catalog, which means today is the last day. If there's anything you're still wanting in the old catalog, today is the last day of buy one card kit, get one free. It's the last day of the discontinued items. If there's anything on there on that list that is not sold out, make sure you get it today. And call me if you have any questions. Thanks for spending this time with us. Goodbye. Goodbye.